All right. All right. I talked about the bad doctors. Let, let me let me talk about the good doctors. And I and I and I'm just because there's a, there are a lot of good doctors out there with good intentions. Uh, but but I, I gotta say, dude, if they're if you're prescribing Suboxone for depression, you're either incompetent uh, or you're that bad motives. And I don't. If you're that incompetent, that's you shouldn't be a freaking doctor. And it's even I gotta say, it might even be more scary. I don't know. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna okay. My Suboxone doctor this time around, okay? Actually, you know, this is great. I've had two sub different Suboxone doctors, okay? My first one years ago, you know, we'll just say seven years ago. And then my one that I had, you know, uh, that I got off Suboxone this time. Uh, the first one was a bad doctor. It was a pill mill. She would even give me multiple months of scripts sometimes. I mean, you're not even supposed to do that. She would just up, I mean, it was ridiculous, okay? She's on the move. She's out of state. Blah, blah, blah. In fact, my my good doctor told me this stuff. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I went to this doctor. And uh, he's like, oh, God. you know, because they couldn't get any of my records. This She's like, yeah, she's on the run. <laughs> you know, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's about another bad doctor. Sorry, this is about good doctors. My, my doctor this time around on Suboxone, okay? Keep in mind, when I went into this clinic, I they accepted me. It was hard to freaking find a place to even accept me around here. I'm not joking. It, now it's getting a lot easier and easier and easier. Uh, but at that time, for me anyway, it was just it was kind of hard for me. Um, and uh, so I go in there, and I'm a wreck. You guys, I mean, if you watch the thing where I was at my my video that I made the other day, when I was at my lowest point, I, here I go. I come in there, and I'm just I'm a mess. I'm so taking so much crap. I. It, He's, they got to give me 32 milligrams of Suboxone. He didn't want to do that, but he just like, it's like, dude, I mean, it was like, dude, but I, I needed it. I, that I was just so, and it, there's a cap. You're not going to get high. high I, that's not what this is about. But I was just so dependent on other stuff to like stabilize, seriously. And the first time I went in there, dude, and we're talking, I mean, I actually cried. I cried talk, after talking to him. And he knows that, dude, I, right in front of him. Yeah, because he was just straight up with me, like, he, he was like, yeah, he's like, you might be a lifetime guy. He's like, if, if that's what you want. I mean, he's just straight. He's like, if that is what you want, he's like, but he's like, my plan is for, is for you to get free off of this medication. And, and he, he gave this train analogy. He's really, he's a really smart guy. Freaking really smart. He's got multiple degrees and lots. I mean, just really good anyway. And, uh, and, and I knew I was in the right place. I knew he cared about me. He was a Christian. He was a Christian. I'm just going to say that right now. We actually went to the same church. We didn't even know. It was a big church. I don't go there anymore anyway. Um, but uh, but yeah, I knew I was in the right place. That There was a doctor that cared about me. And the fact too, the fact, and I didn't want to be on it for the rest of my life, but I was seeing like, man, the fact that he even threw that out there, though too, it was like, there, you know what I mean? It was, there was compassion. There was, there was real compassion there. And uh and, but, but the, and not, not anyway, no, I'm, I'm going to keep going here. And so, so I knew, dude, I knew I was in the right freaking place and I got rolling and, uh, he, he, yeah, I was his worst patient for a while. So, seriously, yeah, check this out. I, I went from his like worst patient, well, probably worst patient in some ways, uh, to, he, they, they call me the poster boy at this clinic. Okay. And I don't go there anymore at all, but that's what they're calling me, uh, for a while there until I left. Uh, not cause I was pushing people to get on Suboxone is because I got off of it. I was telling people like, dude, yeah, you can do it. Like you can freaking do it. Blah, blah, blah. My attitude he loved. I mean, just all that stuff. I'm sorry. I'm not it's God. It's all God. But, uh, he, man, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm talking about myself, but he, he was just such a good freaking doctor. Dang it. I lost my train of thought. Uh, but oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so I, I, I freaking hop on board here. And, uh, you know, I have my, I get my accident. I have my seat, you know, I'm or, yeah, I had, was having seizure problems, blah, 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 my blood clots and blah, blah, blah. And I have surgery here and, and, and whatever. There's always things happening to me. And, uh, but, but we just kept on the path. He, he believed in me. He had faith in me, dude. Uh, he, he, and he pushed me, he would push me. Like there were times where I'd go down and I, and I'd kind of be stagnant a little too long. And I knew it in my heart. I knew it in my heart. He's like, you know, he's like, because he knew, he knew my plan. I told him, like, well, this is what I want to do. He knew what I wanted to do. And, and that's the thing. You can, we have it in our hearts so much. And then when stuff, stuff starts to happen, we don't think rationally. Dude, that is, it's very hard. We got to keep that in check. Because, you know, 
you're tapering, you're not feeling great, you're off, you get off of it, you're not feeling great, you don't think rationally, even though you're like, well, wait a minute, you just got off of that for, for if, you, if you know, if you decided to go through withdrawal for a month, or what, you know, you're off of it for a month working, feeling like crap, and then all of a sudden you're like thinking about getting back on, it's like, well, you got to a terrible point that you, you were willing to go through this for a month, so it, may, it was bad there, you're forgetting how bad it was and how stuck you were feeling, you know, so he knew that, he knew and I never, and I never asked him. I was never like, no, I don't want to go down. I, it was weird. It was like, if he pushed me, I was like, I'll go down. I, I trusted him. And, uh, and, and I knew in my heart that I could do it, but you know how it is. So he pushed me and it was good. It was good for me. Uh, you know, he, he did it all the way, dude. He did it all the way and cared about me all the way. He was the only, yeah. So when I went in there, I told him, I said, here's the deal. I said, I've been taking benzos for like five or six years every freaking day. And I said, I've been taking five milligrams of Kalana, five to four milligrams of Kalana pin at least every day. And I was like, I, I and I just was like, if I, if you don't give me some, I'm, I got to get it on the street. And I don't want, I didn't want to do that. And he was just like, there was always give and take. He said, I'll tell you what I said. He's like, I'll give you one milligram of Kalana pin. I was like, bam, sold, done. Great. Okay. Done. That was, that was what it was. Uh, and and I, dude, I thank him for that, dude. I thank him for freaking, uh, get, you know, believing in me and pushing me. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, he was, a, he was, a, he was just a darn good doctor. This is another thing about, yeah, this is what I was going to get into actually about when I was like, I'm a, I was his worst patient because I'm bad. I like, I didn't have a primary care doctor. I just had my Suboxone doctor. All right. That's all I had. So he would get all my information about my blood clots and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, I'd have to go to him. Like, I, I remember, God, what was it? Oh, my hernia. Yeah, that's another surgery I had to have. I freaking had a hernia, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't have anyone. I'm like, and he knows everyone, dude. He's a surgeon, too. I mean, just genius guy, dude. And he has a en master in engineer, electrical engineering. And uh, I, I call him up. I'm like, dude, I was like, this is terrible. I can't even freaking walk, blah, blah, blah. Like, it was just, it was, like I've said before, it was in a really bad spot. And, uh, he's like, come, come to my office, come to my office. I go in there and it was this other office I'd never even been to. He was like, just come to, the, he was like, I'm here these days. Just, just come here. He didn't even care. So I go there, you know, and, uh, he, he hits me up. He's like, okay. He's like, no, no, no. Checks it out. He's like, okay. He goes, gets on the phone talking. And this is what, this is what happens. Dude. This is where, this is, I'm sorry, but this is where the body of Christ just really comes in, dude. He called up this doctor that went to our church Told him like, dude, this is this guy's situation, blah, 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 you know, and, and, and he got me in, he got me in freaking fast, dude. And this guy got me in surgery. I mean, he would, this, Dr. Wilson would freaking drop anything uh, for his patients, dude. At, at least he, he did it to me and I'm, and I'm freaking grateful to, to him, dude. So there are good doctors. I want to make that very clear. And, and I, and I hope that Wilson watches these videos sometimes, dude. He knows I have a YouTube channel. And, uh, I thank you, uh, Dr. Wilson. And, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to see you again, actually not, I'm not going to get back on some boxing, uh, but, but I will see you again. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I just hope I, I'm, I'm fired up and, and not all doctors are bad and they don't all have right mode or wrong. They don't, well, they don't all have right motives, but they don't all have wrong motives. And, and there, there are times where there's in, incompetence and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, and they just are trying to do the best for their patients. I, I do understand that. But there's a point where, you know, it's like, you know, the science though here, you know what I mean? Like, you know, the science, you know, the end game here. And it's like, you know, and then the bottom line is, dude, we, we can't forget, you know, that's their job. Okay. I'm a salesman, that, but that, that like, you know, I sell more stuff. Great. You know, but you can make more money, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, if they have more patience, they make more money, period. And life lifetime patients are the best. When they're on a we're on a, when they're on a drug that you gotta you you can't not take. They that's book it book it baby. That that's money in the bank, dude. The insurance company's big pharma. The whole thing works round and round, dude. Okay. God bless all y'all. Be for victory and salute.